All right, so what I want to do here is I want to do the anatomy and I want to turn it around. I want to draw a position, I want to turn it around, and we're going to be using this book, the Action Pose Position book. Now, that's the main reason why I created this book. Let me, let me find a I think I found, found something pretty easy. 30, I think it's like 30, 36, 30 something. That I wanted to use. I wanted to start out with a simple pose. Yeah, I wanted to start out with this simple pose. Just you know, I don't want to get too far. Start out with this one and to do maybe some side poses because it's all well and good to be able to draw the character, the pose like this. You know, straight up and down. Once you get used to that, but you're going to have to be able to turn it, twist it, and bend it. And that was the reason why I came up with this book for people when they are ready to start drawing poses to know what it looks like when it's turned twisted from the top and from the bottom so we'll start doing that do a couple of videos on that i know i'm was doing the comic book and then i'm doing the clothes and then i'm doing some other series but um these ideas come because i don't know maybe i'm picking it up from you or maybe something's telling me this is what people need so i don't want to stay too long on one thing like drawing clothes or drawing um uh, uh, buildings or whatever i want to just get as much information out so that you if you're doing a book or if you're just trying to get your anatomy better you'll be able to look at these videos and say hey okay this I learned something new today or this is what I needed so what we'll do is I'm gonna do the first pose and break it down and show you how to do it so and then break it down and show you how to do other poses I paused while I find my page and I just want to start out with it and then we're going to go on our own. But drawing, like everything else, are steps. There's a steps to um, learning how to cook, steps to learning how to drive, uh, even, you know, putting a puzzle together. Like it. And that, that's all the body is basically it's just it's a puzzle. It's just pieces you put together and you might have to twist it a little bit to, to, um, to get it to fit. But when you put a puzzle together, you just don't throw a couple pieces together and hope they fit. What you do is you start out with your corners. And then you make your borders and then you go from there and it's the same thing with drawing you just have to put those pieces together but you have to know what they look like when you turn it and twist it and that's why i break down the body each piece of the body separately show you how to do that and then when you put them together you're good to go so let's start out by getting my glasses on now there are two ways that i draw Depending on what I'm drawing, if I'm trying to draw just a rough sketch or if I'm trying to draw something serious, I take two different routes to it. Let me get a scrap piece of paper that I can use. All right, so let's use this. So if I'm going to draw something, as it depends on what I'm going to draw. There are two ways I'll draw it. I'll draw it each piece by piece. Or I'll start with a loose drawing, like if I'm doing somebody that's bent over, let's just say, and I can't really see it in my head. I have to see it in You have to always see the drawing in your head first, or the position in your head. So if I'm, if I'm drawing somebody bent over like this, or bent over, that's usually what I'll start with. You know, because I know the person's bending, so I'll do the whole torso. So this is the shoulder, and this is the crotch. I'll just do that whole thing like a piece of chewing gum. You just bend it a little bit, and then I'll go from there. You know, and but if I'm doing more of a, 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 a static kind of pose where the guy is just standing there, kind of, kind of like these guys, I'll just I'll draw the piece by piece, starting out with the torso, and then I'll add the the uh, the hips, and then I'll add the the waist, and then legs like that, and then once I have that, then I kind of twist it a little bit or bend it or say, okay, I want them to lean down a little bit more. So I bring the head up. So that's two ways to draw. So if I do it this way, once I get the position I want, it'll kind of be like a stick figure almost. Like that. Then I will go ahead and I will do the same thing. This is my torso right here. He's bending over. So this is going to be the, 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 the waist. This is going to be the, the hips. And then my center line and then round everything off. And that's a lot of things. That's something that a lot of young, not young as in age, but new, new to drawing artists uh, don't do is they don't round off all their, their um, parts. You have to round them off. 
just think cylinder or, or tube. Always keep one of these things. Keep a, a thing around so that you can see it and say, okay, remember the cylinder, remember the tube, like that. And then, you know, once I got the body in correct, the proportions in, then I'll, I will go back and I'll detail it. But that's a quick rough, and that's the best way to do it like that is just, you're going to eventually use these pieces anyway. So if you study these pieces, so the hard part is like, what do these pieces look like? What does each piece look like when you turn it around so if i have a head if i have a neck if i have a torso each one of these you can say is separate and if i have this waist and i have this uh the hips and i have a leg part of half a leg the other half or if i have like the shoulder and i break them down so that you can understand each piece that way you can turn them around because this is simple. A circle is a circle is a circle. No matter how you turn it, this is a cylinder. This turns into a cylinder. And once you figure out, learn how to, to turn cylinders around, I'll show you how to do that. Then it's easy to do arms and legs. Um, what? I don't know. <laughs> like that. So, yeah. And this, you know, so I break it down to, and if you're new to the channel, then this is good for you. Uh, but if you're old school, you already know this because I, I teach, I try to teach you this in every, every um, class almost. So, you know, I break the parts down so it won't be scary to you. So this is just an oval like that or an egg. This right here, the, the waist is just, uh, and I call it the tuna can. It's just cylinder like that. It's just like a flat tuna can. Uh, yeah, tuna, tuna, tuna fish. I had a, a friend that was like hated that whenever I said tuna fish. Oh, she hated that. It's tuna. It's not tuna fish. It's tuna. So, and this piece right here is just, you know, upside down house. Or you could be the uh, the home plate baseball, but I like to call it the upside down house because we all draw houses when we when we're young artists. So it's simple to break down these pieces and put them together. And that way, once you once you learn what they are or how simple they are in shape, you can twist them and turn them. And then you should already know how to connect them. But so. Enough of that quick teacher lesson. Let's get on with this drawing tutorial. So we're going to do this guy right here, first of all. We're going to do this one here, kneeling. You know, it's not going to be exact same, and then we're going to probably do two side positions, but it's something a little simple. So the only hard part here is like the, the bent legs and the bent arms. So I said, say I wanted to start, as I said, I wanted to start out with something a little simple for you guys, because we're going to turn it. So first of all, we start out with, for something like that, because it's, almost straight up and down it's blurred but I'm not drawing it because it's almost he's almost looking forward like at us we don't have to worry about doing the the rough sketch like that just twist it because he's basically straight up and down like I say if I do a stagnant kind of drawing then I'll just start out with the pieces the puzzle pieces so let's do this let's start out make sure I'm not blurred start out with the Torso, which is an oval, center line, um, the T, and this is what I call the beetle technique, something I taught myself how to draw when I was young because there, were nobody, there was nobody around to teach me. So I just looked and looked and looked at whatever body parts I could look at, and I tried to figure out what line connected to what and where what fit, and I started putting them together just like a puzzle, and then... Once you put a puzzle together and you know how it goes, you can put it together over and over again and it'll fit and always be right. So from here, you can do the, this is the collarbone. This is the bottom of your chest. This is your, where your abs go from this line to this line. You can go straight up and down or you can curve it in if you wish, but just straight up and down. And then you have your torso. This right here, if you have this left over, this is your shoulder. Put a V here. For your for where your neck goes out onto your shoulders and then you put your head over top and i'm going to bend them down a little bit more <clears throat> but let's just get the parts here coming off here underneath that you have your uh your delts delts bicep tricep delt, delts yes and then we're going to do an oval for the arm and a, and a, a triangle for the other half of the arm and that's the way to do, let me get a scrap piece of paper so I can show you what I'm going into detail on doing these things. Now one thing when I draw slow like I'm doing now, it, it gets stiff. That's why I tell people you need to practice a lot and then don't. 
Don't draw something that you care about. Draw something that you know you're going to throw away. That way your brain is not saying, oh, you got to make it better. You got to make it better. No, just, just draw a lot of rough stuff. And just don't use good paper. Use crappy paper. That way you know you're going to throw it away anyway. So you, you, you'll be a little at ease when you draw. So what was I saying? Drawing the arms. Drawing the arms are just three shapes. Circle, cylinder, and a triangle like that. That's your arm. If you connect all three of those together, one, two, and three, that's an arm. That's a straight out arm. So cut it somewhere here. Cut it at the wrist. Take this point off. Round this out. This is like this. This is your bicep. You can have your tricep back here. And this is the forearm right here. Because this is a wide like that, you just shape it like this, forearm. And then you have your hand, however you want to put your hand, like that. So that's an arm. It's just three simple shapes. And then you have that comes to your chest, your lats, your collarbone, which is this right here, which goes over top of that. And then you have your shoulders, which are your, don't get me started on body parts today. So I'll think about it in a minute. Traps. There you go. So, okay, again, we have the circle. We have the, the oval. And we have, and because the arm is going back a little bit, it's not going to be as long. It's just like drawing the cylinder. You have a cylinder that's straight up and down. When you start to, when you tilt this backwards, this is going back. This is going to be in the front. You'll start to see the circle, and it'll, 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 um, it will narrow out like that. So whenever you're drawing an arm going back, this is what you have to do. You have to do that. And if you have the other part coming up, so this is your bicep here. This is your, this is going to be your delt. And you're going to have the other part coming up. So if I tilted this forward, you would see the opening in this. So it would be like this and this going in perspective. So it would be um, opposite. You see the back of that one and the front of that one. So if I put the forearm here coming forward, it would look like this. B remember, this part is wider than this. So it's going to have to be like that, even going in perspective. It's going to be like that. So if I ink it, this is going to come down. Then it's going to be this. This is the back part of this circle right here coming up like that. These are your delts. Like this going into the chest. Remember, your lats, collarbone, and this is your hand. Like that. So you have that automatically. You have it looking like it's going. I'm sorry, I had the top in my mouth. Automatically, you have it look like it's going back because you're doing the cylinders. So once you learn these shapes, you must master these shapes. Before you go anywhere in the drawing world, you must master those shapes. So we have that coming out. And then you want you always want to draw. If you're not used to drawing arms and legs, you always want to complete your circles, your, your back front circles and your back circles. Always complete that, even if you have to do this and then do that. And then do that. What are you stuttering now? <clears throat> it's early in the morning, so my voice is not deep and melodious. And you want to remember to keep everything online. If you're going to have somebody doing that perfect, perfect um, symmetry pose, symmetrical pose. So <clears throat> I'm going to tip this down a little bit, but let's get the waist on. So we have this from not right here. You can do it right here. Just let's make it easy for you. Right here, you want to bring that little, that little, this is going to be a rectangle here, but it's actually shaped like that. That's the, that's the tuna can. That's the waist. You flip it up, and then it's going to look like this. Go get a tuna can and look at it. Then you're going to have your upside down house or your home plate for those who play baseball. Like that. All right, so. We have straight up. Now, he could be standing up, but he's going to be leaning over. Now, when you lean somebody over, this collarbone right here that goes straight is going to take on this V. Now, I pull out my little plastic dummy. And let me show you this guy here. And it's good if you have um, um, any kind of toy to draw from. I mean, it's just ref better reference than um, trying to imagine and not really seeing. So you have this collarbone right here that goes straight across. I could probably put this pencil down and sit there. So that's like if he's looking or he's talking to you and me. Let me get a thing. All right, let's do this. Look. Sharpie. Let's do this with this Sharpie. 
Here's his collarbone in black. I marked it in black. If he's straight forward, straight in front of us, this collarbone is going to be straight across, just like that, just like the letter T. And I teach that in one of my other videos, using letters to draw. It's like the letter T. Now, when you lean him forward, let's just say this is the position we've got so far, right there, just like that. We've got his arms kind of like this. This is what he looks like. Now, he needs to bend forward a little bit. This is going to take more of a Y shape than a T. It's going to be... Um, more of a Y, like I said, more of a Y, but I look at it as a diamond because we take this whole piece and go around, this whole shoulder part and go around. So I call it a diamond, but for those that make it easier for you, it's the letter Y. And I use letters a lot of times because that's something we draw, uh, we've done since we were young and we're not afraid to make letters. So I try to keep, I try to keep each shape as, as simple as you can, like building blocks. So we make this Y, so, and then that shoulder is going to become like that diamond. That whole shoulder is going to become that diamond. And then his head is not going to be up. His head is going to be, it's going to come down. So where his chin was right here under, at the top of that shoulder, his chin is going to come down into his shoulders. And I need a new pencil because I wore out my eraser making my last video. So where that V was at the bottom of his neck, I'm just going to put his chin down here. Now, the more that you bring his head into his shoulder, the more he's leaning, the more this has become a, a diamond. And this, your delt, a lot of people do that. And I've seen that on a lot of drawings. I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll go on uh, face, Facebook and I'll look at um, people who are starting comics or, or the beginning and I'll, I'll kind of see what their mistakes are, and I'll try to cover that in some of my videos. This is actually shaped like this. This is, okay, you have this, this circle is actually shaped like this. Because it actually goes around the arm. So the, when you, it goes way back here and comes up and like this, and then this is your shoulder that fits in there. So when you lean, so this goes way kind of toward the middle of the back. Let me use this guy here. And this has turned out to be more of a tutorial than anything else. You have this, and this is this part. But when you look at it, when you lean it back, you see how far this thing goes toward the back? This is like in the middle of his back. So all this, I'm not going to draw on this one. This thing was kind of expensive, and it does not clean out, does not clean up well. So all of this is that delt. So when you lean forward, you just see this a little bit like this circle, but when you lean him forward, you see how this becomes more of a that the letter Y or, or the diamond or V. And then you got this delt coming all the way back here. So that's something that a lot of people don't do or don't see or don't understand because if we do draw from toys, we have just this and it goes up like that. And a lot of people will do shoulders like that. They have the shoulders like squared off and then the arm is like just just way up but all this stuff this collarbone bends up and it's on my videos as well so a lot of artists and I, and I get on it but I'm gonna stop because people probably call me vain or whatever but when you go on a lot of these YouTube channels to see these people draw not everybody's a teacher a lot of people can draw and I'm not taking it away from them they have great great skills a lot of people just you know would leave me in the dust a lot of these comic book artists have been drawing stuff for 20 years and you know they just put me to shame you know a lot of people just have more talent than me but a lot of people are not teachers they can't teach they'll say oh I'll show you how to draw spider-man and then they they they'll do the head like this do the neck like this do the like this and it's just basically saying do it like this and then they go and then they add all this beautiful shading and cross hatching and stitching and so forth and so on. and at the end of it you realize you can't do that because he really didn't show you how to do that. He's like, this guy's great. I'll never be like that. So in some some circumstances, it's bad to see that because it you, makes you kind of think, I'll never be able to do something like that. I'm not as good as that. I'll never be because they didn't really teach you. They just showed you how they draw. And that's one thing that kind of gets me when I see, you know, a video like, you know, I'll show you how to draw this or show you how to draw that. And it's like, you, you showed me how you draw it. You didn't show me how I can draw it. So, yeah, I'm not fussing. So here we have one leg up. We're going to have one leg coming up. So a cylinder. Well, let me draw it first. 
you have the back circle and you have the front circle. So you want to figure out how far you want the leg to come up. And let's bring it up like this. So front circle and then back circle here. You want to find out how far you want that leg to come up and then put the circle here for the knee. And then that's going to be another cylinder coming down like this. And I'm drawing, it's really stiff because I'm drawing slow. So the other leg, we had it coming down and back. So this is gonna be the open circle here. And we're gonna have this one here. And then we have one invisibly behind here that comes out about here. And then there's the foot, like that. So this guy is on his knee. So this is, this is really rough, this is really rough. Because as I said, if I'm drawing slow, then it's gonna be stiff. And then, of course, you put the foot, and the foot is just half of a triangle. Like that, for the time being. Just, if I did that whole thing, it's a triangle. Like that. So you just cut this foot in half. I need another pencil, because I need an eraser. Get it in a second. And then we have, what if we have this? We have the fist right here. I didn't draw a fist, bro. I draw a fist, and the thumb is like right here. So we have that. So if I lean them down, this will come down more, and actually, I can actually drop this down more because it's going to cover a lot of this. If I had them leaning like really far, this piece is going to drop down. Let's see if I can give you guys another example. I don't know. Shot the balls. That might work. If this is your hips and this is the torso when he leans forward you see how this is covering up this part he leans forward it's going to cover up i know there's some shadow because of the light the light is crazy but same thing even you know even if this part doesn't move if he bends the top of his torso it's going to come down a little bit and let's just say this is the collarbone right here going across when he leans forward that collarbone becomes more of that v around it and you're going to cover up so if I, if I did it um, quickly, I would have this come down a little bit more, and then I would have this head come down more. And as I was saying with this, when you lean this, when you lean forward, you won't see that circle anymore. You'll see more of the back of it. It's going to go around his back. So this is going to be like this, more shaped like that. Like that. So... I'm not going to try to make this perfect because I'm not trying to do a perfect drawing. I want to show you how to take the parts and twist them and turn them and bend them. So when you start drawing, you'll be able to turn your character. So we have that. I'll fix this up a little better. Let me get an eraser. Right, so I had to get a new pencil. Brand new pencil time. Yeah. So again, let's just, just a little quicker. I'm going to, this leg's going to got to be a little longer. And this is fine going back. This is going to have more curve to it like this. And that's another thing. You, you, the body parts do curve. They curve a little bit. It's not Everything is not straight like the cylinder. But that's just to get you going in the beginning. Coming down like this. This would be more. I'm not going to change this anymore. You know this is the, that V. This head is going to come down. Let me bring this head down a little bit more. And then we'll work on the other two. So I'm going to bring the head down here. So it gives them that more of a crouching position. The further you bring the head down into the shoulders, the more of a crouching position he would take. And then by you showing this more of that circle, that split circle, I don't know what shape I could usually call that. I could call that, it's like a circle. It's like, it's not writing on your paper. I don't know what that would be. That's why my erasers disappear so fast because instead of writing on my scrap paper, I write on my good sheet. And basically, some people ask, what is that? This is just a, red, a checking pencil. This is like your red checking pencil. Let me show you the box. It's in Amazon. You can get this stuff at Amazon. This is all it is, this thing here. My camera's all screwed up upside down. It's just a red checking pencil. That's all it is. Just Yeah, that's all. I just like the way it feels on paper. It's like having a good ink pen and a crappy ink pen. You, you just like, you like, oh, I hate this kind of thing. I'll use a big ballpoint, and, you know, versus the, the G, G6 or whatever these new ink pens are called. So, yeah, that's all. 
and then let's just do this. So we have this, okay, we have that. Now let's do one from the side. So torso is always first. You always start with the torso. Don't start with your head because if I started with the head, the feet would more likely go off the paper. And you know, it has done that to me a number of times. So let's turn them this way first. So we start out with the torso, which is gonna be the same. Make sure you have room to get the other one on. Torso is gonna to be the same, except he's gonna be leaning. So you see how I'm leaning this, this circle? Of this oval depending on how much you want to lean you know it could be leaning that much that, that all depends on that front line or how much you lean that front line because a circle is a circle is a circle if I take this and I twist it any which way it's still going to be a circle the only thing that that difference differs is if you have a line in it so if this is the front of the torso and I turned it to the side that line goes, you know, take it down, that line goes. So that's the only difference in doing a circle or kind of an oval. I just lean it a little bit. So if this was it, I took it, turned it, turned it, and then I leaned it, leaned it, leaned it down. Yeah, if that helped you. Anyway, so when you do that, you're going to, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so you're going to, this is not going to be straight. Okay, well, there's my center line here. So this is gonna be my collarbone right here, that T. So this is as far as that collarbone is gonna go right here, here. And because he's leaning, remember, it's gonna be that circle. I mean, it's gonna be that Y, letter Y. So off of here, you're gonna get the delt. And be, the delt is not going to, because it's leaning, the delt is not gonna be like this. It's going to be in the center of that, of that circle right, this part that comes off, which I showed you here or wherever I showed you. I'll make a good, what's the name, so that you guys can remember. Center line, collarbone, it, gonna, it comes off, and then basically that, it's like a weight, it's like a, a counterweight, that collarbone comes over top of that delt, and then you put the delts on using shapes. So when you turn it to the side, let's just do this, it's gonna be to sideways like that, Here's your center line. You're going to have this one. This one's not going to be way off here because when you turn to the side, just like if I take this guy and I turn him to the side, his arm is into the body. You know, his arm is completely off the body here, off this torso. But when I turn to the side, you see how that arm is on the body. So you're not going to go way out here. You, it's going to be here on part of the body. And this other one is going to be, as you see, this line comes over top. If you look at this, this line it comes over top of this. But when you turn it, this line is now right here. It stops right here. So you're going to see this back piece back here. So when you turn your character, you're going to see that line. Remember, it stops back here. And you're going to see some back meaty part right here. And this part is going to be into the body like that. You're still going to have this. This is where the abs are. I'll just draw some fake abs right here so that you'll see. So you have this mountain, which is what I call it, this mountain part. So if, if you draw a V, basically, if you draw a V here, you have to figure out how, how high this goes. It goes. It goes pretty high up. So if you have this collarbone and you have the bottom of your chest, this is your chest right here. This this part comes right below that. So you can't have it like down here like this and have all this space. It goes right up, almost touching that chest like that. So same thing here. This is why I use the, I, I, and when I first started drawing, I drew the exact same way. I did one, two, three, like that over and over and over again so I wouldn't mess up. But now that I'm used to it, I kind of got away from doing the one, two, three. I know where everything goes, so I don't stay in order. But let's just do this. So we got your collarbone. Let's say this is as far as I want my chest to come down. I don't want my chest way down here because you know that's that's not a, that's too big. So about right here. So I would say the chest is somewhere like in the middle of this whole thing. And then chest line here. Don't curve it yet. And then you can put your your body. If you're not if you can't draw the actual curve right, then make a V, a di um, triangle, like that. So that you know that top of that point is going to be on that line and then round it off a little bit. So you have that. So where you have this point and this point, just like I did here, these points. I'll show you here. You have this and you have your collarbone. So where this line comes around and touches that point and where this line comes down and touches that curve here, curve here, 
go straight, connect them like that. Same thing here and here. Straight down, connect them. If you do this every time, you will get your uh, torso right every time in every position. You will get it right. So, but because this is now curved, this line from this point to this point, which is here, I'm, I'm going to mess up this, but it's not going to be like ink or anything from here to where was it at? Do, 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 to, to here, which is here to here. Since that's straight because it's straight at you, but because it's curved, now you're going to have to curve it like that. This As much curve as this, you want to put this. And then here's the bottom of your chest. And right at this point, right here, where it makes it a little uh, plus, that's when you turn the chest. That's where the chest comes up and it goes up until to the delt. Delt, yeah. Same thing here. The chest will curve up. Now, if you're doing superhero type, the chest is going to come off of the frame. So, like, I don't want my chest like this. I'm going to bring my chest off a little bit. Just give that powerful type of chest. So if I do that, am I, am I, am I clear? Yeah, so yeah, you have that, that powerful chest because it comes off. I'm gonna write, and then that line is gonna come right where that curve comes back into that, then you're gonna start the rest of your torso. And it's gonna come here and curve here. Maybe this line would be here and here, and it's gonna curve here. And it's go right into that delt, which because you're leaning, it's going to be like this. It's going to have that shape because this is where your, your um, shoulder is going to be. So it's actually going to go around. Remember, it's going to go around your back. Maximum file size you already reached. All right, so let's speed this up a little bit because I'm, I'm going slow. I'm doing a lot of teaching. It's already been 30 some minutes, but you need this teaching. So we have this and... Just like I had this V here, wherever you have, and I keep going back to my thing, what's left? You have this left, this circle, piece of circle left, you put this V. As thick as you want the neck. If you want a skinny neck, you put a little skinny V. If you want a wider neck, you have that wider V, and then it goes up from there, and then you put the head on like that. So when you're coming over, you're still going to have that. You're going to have that V from this point at, that, at, that, uh, at your collarbone. This is where you're going to start your V. No matter where you are, how you turned, here, at that collarbone, you're going to start that V, and that neck is going to come up. So it's going to be, and it's going to come up to that, to, the, to your back. And this one is going to come up like this. If you have this little piece left over, let me draw this. If you have this little piece left over from that turn, your neck is going to go up, and then straight up like that, depending on where your head is. So it's going to curve around like that. And this is your shoulder right here. This is that meaty part of your shoulder. This part you won't see. The bicep, the tricep. And you know it's split by the, the delt splits the two. We'll get into that. And so, again, here you would have, this is your collarbone here. You're going to have that circle come from behind that line like that. Because it goes here. And because that delt goes behind there. And then you would have your bicep. Or your yeah your bicep and your forearm it's easy once you learn the steps it's very simple I tell people you can draw anybody can draw if you can make numbers you can you can write letters and numbers you can draw all right so how we have this so we have this again so this is leaning but this part goes down so you want to have this waist or this tuna can if I had a different color it would be like this So this ball, if you cut this in half, you just cut this little piece, this ball is kind of going down into it. It's going down into it like that. And then you have your house. Remember, you have your center line, and that's going to come down because this is straight with this line. This is going to be straight, and it's going to go down into the upside down house. This is going to be your, your roof. This is going to be the center part of your roof like this. This is rough. This is a quick rough sketch, so it's going to be stiff because I do stiff when I'm drawing slow. So we have that. We have which leg do we have? This leg is going up here. This leg is going up. So again, with the cylinder, you have your back circle. 
So this is going to come into this house. It's not going to be way down here. It's going to actually come into it because your leg, once you bend your leg, this part jumps up here. It's like this. The leg is going to be like this. With this little dip right there, it's going to come around like that. And you're going to have your knee. And then you're going to have this piece tucked under, which is your calf. And it's going to come down like that. So because this part puffs up here, you're going to, that's going to come up here. So you're going to have your back circle and you're going to have your front circle, wherever you're going to put the knee at. It's just like turning that cylinder. Remember, you turn that cylinder. This is the whole cylinder. The more I turn it, you have your back circle here, front circle here. So the more I turn that, the shorter this thing is going to get if I can get it in toward the camera. So if you place your back circle and your front circle, the rest should fit. So if, let's say if I brought this, this is going to be down. Let's just bring this up a little bit. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to show you how to change and manipulate stuff. So front circle here, higher back circle here, connect the two. Now, if this was facing me, if this, this is, this, this is kind of like, get it in the camera. This is kind of like this almost at that angle from here. Now, if I took this leg or this knee and I pointed it straight to me, it would look like this. You would just see that, or maybe you'll see some of the top of the leg or just a little bit of the side of the leg, depending on how you turn it. But for now, we're going to leave it like this. It's going to be here and it's going to curve in like that. So this knee is going to be here. We'll take the ball, put it here, and we're going to do the cylinder like this for the leg, the other leg. And it's going to go back a little bit. So we're going to put that cylinder back a little bit. Front circle, back circle, the foot, like that. Still, still let it have a triangle. And you can actually bring it down and then round it off, and you have your foot like that. This other leg is coming down, so this is like actually touching the ground. So we're going to, you have your, your front circle and your back circle. So this would be more like this, it's facing me. Like that, this knee would be here. But this is that cylinder, remember. The knee would be right here, and the other leg would be tucked. Because it's bent so much, this is going to bend in. This part of your knee, and the other one is going to go back. So you'd have your back cylinder coming back. It's going to go behind that leg, probably about right here. Because if you, if you kneel down, your heels would be actually in your butt. Or you, your butt would touch your heels. So this is just something to, to, to remember. And then you're gonna do that foot like that. So this is what you would see. You wouldn't, you wouldn't see any of, what am I not seeing? You're not seeing any of this. And you're not seeing any of that. I always draw through, that way you can correct it, or you can erase it and you'll know where you're, where you're, what you're missing later. That didn't come out right, but yeah. So now we already have this kneeling. So like I said, if this leg was coming out more, we would see it would be, the circle would be more over here. It would be like this. And then that leg would be here. This part of the leg would be here. But I don't want to mess up what I already have. It's just something you practice with. And I, I did a video on, I think I did a video, I did a video on cylinders, but maybe I'll do one specifically on doing this type of thing. I think that would probably be a good lesson for people to learn. So here's your knee going down into here. And so, okay, remember this ball, went, it kind of rotated and went down into this, this little um, tuna can here, which is your abs. And they move. So if you have your first set right here, your second set is going to be here. And your third set goes down into that. So they, they actually crunch. They, they crunch in. So how did I have the arm? One, they, they were both kind of out. They were both kind of out. So they were down and out. So cylinder going back. So this is going to be my front circle. It's going to be my back circle. Since it's going back, I'm not going to be able to see inside of the cylinder. Same thing with this one. So this is going to be here, and it depends on how much it goes back. I'm not going to be able to see, or if I, or if I angled it out a little bit more. Depending on if you have your arms close going back like this or close in like this do right brother do right 
or far out like that going that. That's, that, det that, that determines your, your cylinder. And if you even look at this, it's a cylinder. It's this just, it's, it's a cylinder. I mean, like you surprised, Brian, you knew it was a cylinder. Yeah, like, so just, just you know, your front circle, your back circle, same thing here. I just, I've just seen that, you know, I've, all the time. I've never thought about using that as a, for a lesson. Okay, so um, you got your coming forward. So you're gonna have your back circle, which you won't see inside. And you can have your front circle, which you will see inside, like that. Same thing here. Depending on, I'll do two. I'll do two. I'll do one in red and I'll do one in pencil. So we have the back circle and then your front circle. So this is coming down like that. So if I did one, well, I say red and pencil. So if I did one where this fist is aiming more towards me, it would be like this and like this. And I think I'll just do one video where we do a lot of these legs and arms and you can you can see and you can you can judge so yeah it depends on where you put that front circle so if i took it out more let's see if i can do this in black if i took it out like that it would be more like this like that so you can take one position like i can take this position and make probably like 15 or 20 positions just leaving the torso Whereas that, I can switch the legs. I can bring both legs down. I could uh, um, um, have you know the both knees up. It's just so many, so much you can do by just the arms and the legs changing. And that's the easy part. And a lot of people are like it's hard to draw arms and legs. That's once you get the torso and this right, and you get the twists and bends right in this part. These these are the easy things. So the hardest thing would probably be the expression on your drawing because that's the hands and the face are the two things you look at. You focus on in comics because they show your expression. So if my hand is like this, you know I'm resting. But if I'm like that, you would say, oh, he's tense. If I never said anything, but I started making like hand gestures or, you know, then you would know. He's like, okay, I can understand what's going on with this guy. So that's the things you would have to really master the most are your facial expressions and your hands. All right, so now this, remember I said this V comes up here. This V goes in it because this is the back of your neck. And then you put your head on wherever you choose to put your head on. And then which, which hand, we can use all three hands. He, he could have like three, three forearm, he could be like three forearm man. That's something you've never seen somebody with three forearms. I don't know how that would actually work out. But uh, yeah. That would go here. This would come up here, Brian. Like that. Yeah, so now you can choose from whatever three. And this would be the other fist here. I don't like drawing with sketching with a pencil because if you mess up, then you can't get it right. Like that. Okay, so that's this turn to this side. So let's let's flip to the other side. So it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, make it a little smaller. It's gonna be the same thing. Or yeah, well just, we'll see how it comes up. Same thing, oval, center line. is gonna be leaning this way. Um, collarbone, and that tells you how much he's leaning forward by the collarbone. Like that, remember that V or that diamond or that Y. You choose you, the letter Y, the diamond, or just the V here. Coming down, I'll do this one kind of quick. So we're gonna come down here. So this is gonna be the, the waist or the tuna can right there. And then center line coming down here, here. And then we're going to have the um, hips like that, which is just these three shapes. Once you lock these three shapes in and get them right, you are good to go. All right, so let's say halfway again is the chest. Right below the chest is that mountain or tunnel or triangle, which one ever one you want. Remembering that center comes right here. Round it off at the bottom and at this. Round that off, same as this. Coming up, you have your delts. And because you're over top of it, your delts are gonna go back, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. You have your delt coming right here and then going behind it because you're looking down. You have your V here and here. Then you put your head there so 
The hard part is basically done. So we're going to come down here to the center. Remember that center line. Boom, it turns here. Boom, it turns there. The hard part is done. How do you put the legs? Remember, let's always round this off. And you have to always leave space. Always leave that space. So which one is up? Which one is which? So this one's going to be up. Cylinder. I'm going to draw this a little quick. And this one is down. Is it down? Yeah, this one's down. So you don't want, depending, if you want it straight down, if you want it down a little bit more, but usually you're going to have to have that balance. It's going to be resting on that knee. So this is going to come right into that leg. Like that. And these are just the cylinders. Here's your knee. And then this one is up. It's going to be like this, the calf. Like that. And then this one comes back. Calf here and then the foot so and then your arms are coming back arms are coming back so got this arms coming back this one is going back too so you won't really see it depending on how much backness backness it has yeah and you will see some of this coming down here and here's your fist And you notice this is basically just a square right here. It's just a, a box right there. Then I take this and I do this little um, rectangle right there for your for your thumb coming around. Then you split it one, two, three, four. They come this way one, two, three, four. And then you have your palm right here and right here. And that's a quick hand. You just kind of round it off a little bit. You don't want to write on me, do you? Remembering your knuckles. And this one just comes in and your palm, it comes in to your palm like that. And this is your palm, this is your other palm, part of your palm. You only have one palm, but I always split it in two. So if I say palm, palm, like arm, arm, two pieces of the arm. And it comes up like this and your thumb comes across it like that. And that's just a quick way to do hands, a fist twisted or bent. Just think of that box. So this one, you can bring it this way too. Remember your circles here. Don't put, don't put, if I bring this arm like this, there's a circle here. I put the other part of the arm here. I don't put it back here. It's still like, like this. And then the other pieces like this. Always bring it forward, leaving room for that elbow, which is right here. And then you put that on. I mean, it could be touching this corner here, coming down and touching this angle like this. But you don't want this and then this because you got to have room for that elbow somehow. So we're here. So I'll just do this cylinder here so I can have one coming forward. Here's my front circle. Here's my back circle. I can have that and I can have the fist here. I'll turn that fist sideways a little bit. Like here's the thumb going down. Here's the knuckles like that. So I can have that. I can have it coming out more since this is... I don't want to change the color. This is the back circle. This is my front circle like that. So I can have one more like this, my, my back circle and my front circle. Remembering whenever you turn that cylinder, whenever you turn that cylinder, let me use the one without the paper. Whenever you turn that cylinder, it's going to get shorter. So if I'm, if I'm this way, like if this arm is this cylinder is this arm right here and it's this way. So I want to turn that cylinder to where that fist, if that fist is here, drop all these pins, brother. If that fist is here, and this is how this arm is like this. This is how this arm with the fist is. So if I want to bring that fist more towards you like that, this cylinder is going to get shorter. It's going to get shorter. The more I bring it towards you, the shorter it's going to get, the more that fist is going to take up that space. Genius, Brian. Yeah, okay. So front circle cylinder, this is as long as that cylinder is, it's going to get shorter. This is the back circle right here. <clears throat> so if I want that fist to come up, if I want the fist over here, that's my back circle and my front circle right here. Remembering that it's wide, wider. It's going to go wider as it goes back. So you have three positions you can put that arm. Here's a fist, put the fist here. I'll put that fist here. That would be more turned down because that's just how the fist goes like this. So 
So you would just see knuckles like that and the rest of the fingers would be back there. So this one is kind of almost like that, but you would see a little bit uh, more fingers. And this one would be like this. Well, you just screwed that one up. Yes, I did. So, yeah, as I said, it's, it's, the cylinders are, uh, are easy. The arms and legs are easy once you learn how to master the cylinders. So you have the same position. Well, we just kind of change the arms around a little bit. In three different positions. Once you learn how to, let me get my pen. I said I'm going to do a review on these pens here. These, I forgot what these things are called. These are like Chinese pens. I don't think it's going to focus. You wouldn't be able to read it anyway. So I don't know why I'm trying to show you these, these Chinese letters. So yeah, let's just do a really quick. Well, actually, that would be in the middle because this splits in half like that. So this is going to be the the um, ah, obliques, which comes down in here. This is going to be there. Your leg's going to be here. Your leg's going to be here. And this is really rough. I don't usually do fast with a pen. Delta's going to be here, bicep's going to be here, this splits, the arm splits like this from here. And then you have your fist, which is going to be up because your thumb is going to be, where's your thumb? In or, in or out, in or out, out. Sometimes I forget that. Your chest is going to be, because this is leaning down too, so is your chest. This is going to be here, this is going to be here, it's going to come down, and your chest is going to be curved like that too. Here's your, your neck, part of your neck your head I could have brought that head down even more to make him crouch a little bit more since this is curving around this is going to be your first ab right here you have your second right here and if you want to just go crazy and put like a third right there like that and your lats you know doing lats and all that stuff so yeah do do you your foot so again here, we use this one arm, we'll do the delts. Which arm are we using? We're using this other arm. This is kind of long, but that's okay. The chest, remember the chest comes off and then this is gonna come in more, gives a more powerful chest. You have this, this, your shoulders, your neck. Come down, it's gonna bend here and go out because it's it's tuck, it's it's remember it's going into that, it's going into that tuna can. So you're gonna your abs are going to kind of suck in, and then you will have a little bit of, of waste right here. That's a whole nother story. Come in, it's gonna come down. So we're gonna have this knee here. Comes around. This little piece, and then your leg is going to come there. The foot, remember, the foot is going to be like touching the back of your buttocks almost. Your abs, when I said I didn't do your neck. And then we're using this one. real quick and then we're going to see some just a little bit of waste That you're still not not blurred on me because I did not look at the monitor for a minute. And we're gonna use this one here. So 
there you have three positions. Three positions, same position. Three drawings of the same position. And you're gonna have your your um your lap your obliques right there. Three positions, same drawing, and it's just by knowing how to turn around the puzzle pieces. So hopefully that did help. You get a little glance. I'll, I will do a couple more of these, you know, it, yeah, just until you get it right, because it won't take long once you learn the steps or once you memorize what I'm saying and then just do it for yourself. It's very, very, very simple. And then you'll be on your way to drawing your own comics. But as I said, this is why, this is why I did this book here. So that you can you can be able to draw different action positions, and I want to come out with a part two because this one is like part action positions, and then I give you some bonus ones which are not like turned around; they're still action positions. Some bonus ones, and then I go into my finished drawings from my uh, YouTube channel. When I like um, Action Post Position 32. If you look at Action Post, go on there and you, Action Post Position number 32 is the one I did of this female. And so I give you basically the final drawing so that you can look at the video itself. And then you can, you have the final drawing right here so that you can, once you look at the video, you can actually draw it for yourself. So yeah, I've got all of these in there, all these final drawings in there, along with the um, hands. It's more things in there. I have hands, people that problem with hands you know and all of these are videos these are just these are just the thumbnails to i think these are the actual drawings in the video but these are from every video so if you go in and you want to, if you see something in the book that you like you're like oh i want to draw this i want to learn how to draw that you go in there you find it this is the action post position 28 that's that's what it what it is and then you'll be able to see how i drew this and draw this along with me so yeah this is on Amazon. I'll leave the uh, address right here. Just type my name in Brian Proctor Books and it'll take you to all my books on Amazon. And I'll also leave the address um, at the end of this video. Not at the end, but you'll see it. You know what they say. Down below, as they always say. So, that's it for another great tutorial. Yes, sir. Great tutorial. Yes, it was, Brian. Thank you. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment. Thumbs up if you like that. If you want more and tell a friend, please help my channel grow because there are a lot of people out there that are now finding my channel and saying, oh, I finally found a good channel. So I want to help more people to draw because if your dream is to do a comic book or to learn how to draw and you don't never reach that dream later on in life, as some of these older guys, you just said you never be able to, you, you were never able to reach it. So what's with the hands? What's with the hands? Stop with the hands. So yeah, tell a friend. Leave a thumbs up and uh, uh, subscribe to help the channel grow so the YouTube and, 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 and logistics or whatever will see that and then put me up front. All right, enough rambling because this is what I do at the end of my videos. I ramble. I'll see you guys in the next video. Throw my pins down like, oh, I'm going to do that. Class is dismissed. Action pose position 360. Later.